The following question reads that there is a reaction going on between chlorine and propane in ultraviolet light which produces two isomeric monochloropropanes which are given as C, uh, CC87Cl. And the question is asking which information about, about this reaction is correct. Uh, the first thing is, thing is they want to uh, want us to, uh, uh, they want to know what type of bond fission is happening, and the other one is what is the expected ratio of one chloropropane to two chloropropane. So I'm going to I'm going to just repeat uh, what the question is about. It's about free radical substitution where you have a chlorine molecule reacting with propane molecule in ultraviolet light. So I'm going to first tell you what happens when chlorine reacts with propane. And the first step of this reaction is called initiation. Now, in initiation, uh, there's a chlorine molecule, and in a chlorine molecule, uh, both chlorine atoms are sharing a pair of electrons, and UV light uh, is going to break. UV light or sunlight is going to break the bonds. So one electron uh, goes back to one of the chlorines, the other electron goes back to the other chlorine. So a homolytic fission occurs, uh, the bond is broken equally and two Cl radicals are produced in the process. So this is an example of homolytic, it's an example of homolytic fission. So it's either going to be option C or it's going to be option D. Now moving to the other part of the question, the other part of the question states that there is propane and a substitution happens and one chloropropane is formed and uh, the questioner wants us to tell them uh, what is the expected ratio of one chloropropane to two chloropropane. So how is one chloropropane produced? Uh, so let me explain this. Now one chloropropane would be produced that would produce when one of the one of the hydrogens is going to be substituted by Cl. So there are plenty of hydrogens and they are going to be substituted. Only one of them is going to be substituted by a Cl and that would give you one chloropropane. Now, uh, uh, which hydrogen would be substituted? It's either going to be uh, this hydrogen. If this hydrogen gets substituted, then you get one chloropropane or this one or this one or this one or this one or this one. The ones on the sides because one chloropropane looks something like this. There's going to be three carbon atoms and there's going to be a Cl attached to the end carbon or the first carbon on either side, not the middle one. So that means that out of, that basically means that out of this eight hydrogens that you have, which hydrogen gets substituted to get give you one chloropropane? So it's either uh, one of these hydrogens that I've marked. So out of the eight hydrogens, if six hydrogens, any one of these six hydrogens gets substituted, you're going to get one chloropropane. So the probability is six out of eight. So you had a total of eight hydrogens, eight possible, possible hydrogens that might be substituted. If the middle ones get substituted by Cl, you're never going to get one chloropropane. It's always the ones at the end that might get substituted. So the probability is that out of the eight hydrogens, six uh, the end ones, if they get substituted, if either one of them gets substituted, you're going to get one chloropropane. Now, what's the probability of getting two chloropropane? Now, this here is two chloropropane. Now, in two chloropropane, Cl is attached to the middle carbon atom. So, out of these eight hydrogens, which one would get substituted to give you two chloropropane? So, it's either going to be this hydrogen or this hydrogen. So, the possibility of getting two chloropropane would be two out of eight. That out of these eight hydrogens, if either one of these two gets substituted and the Cl gets in their position, then you're going to get two chloropropane. So I've uh, I figured out the probability uh, distribution of getting one chloropropane or two chloropropane. So it's uh, the chances of getting one chloropropane is six by eight. The chances of getting two chloropropane is two by eight. So the ratio is, the expected ratio is going to be, it's going to be 3 ratio 1. Because it's going to be 6 out of 8 ratio 2 by 8, which is basically 3 ratio 1. So 1 chloropropane you is going to have 3 times the possibility of getting 1 chloropropane. So going back to my question, the correct answer is then going to be, it's going to be option, option D.